Hi class, welcome to personal finance class. My name is Carla Moha and I will be your instructor this term. I have this video here to help you navigate through our course and requirements and get you started off in our class. To start off with, when you log into Clatsop Community College's Brightspace platform, you will click into our class, BA218, and it, you will land on this page, which is the announcements page. Please be sure to read through the announcements each time you enter the class. I will post important class information here. Please also be sure to check your student email and the email that you have on file with the school regularly for important class information and college information. On this page, there is a content browser where you can browse the course. I do not suggest using that content browser. I suggest using the browser up top here or the button called content. So please click content here to view the course. This content button helps you view the course in more entirety. It um, opens things fully instead of shortcut opening. So it's just an easier way to navigate the course. The top button here in the navigation area is an overview of the course. And this overview, I have uploaded a copy of our syllabus, which I will briefly touch upon. The syllabus here has my name and information. And um, important things to note here, I do have my phone number there. Uh, that is my personal cell phone number um, listed second uh, because my office phone number, I'm only getting voicemails. So keep that in mind. I have my office hours here down below and I will be keeping those office hours. Please call my cell phone or email me because sometimes, you know, I could be busy. So email me and um, or call during that time and we can talk. If we need to, we can set up um, an appointment or um, a live online conference, you know, whatever is needed to assist. Okay, so there is a textbook required for the course. It is the Focus on Personal Finance textbook. It is available at the Clats of Bookstore and um, online in ebook version. If you're using a previous version, let me know just to make sure it will work out. And if you're having any troubles getting the book, please let me know. Um, you know, Amazon's kind of delayed with some other shipping times and stuff. So just keep me in the um, Keep me posted if you need any help getting the textbook. Okay, so your grade in this course is based on two things. We're going to have discussion forum posts and assignments. As a general rule, you will have one discussion each week and one assignment due each week. This week, we have two discussions because we have an introduction discussion and a chapter one. But as a general rule, each week we'll have a discussion and an assignment um, per uh, chapter or topic we cover. So keep in mind, some, some weeks may have two discussions, but um, your grade is only made up of those two things, and the weeks will be pretty uh, easy to follow. Okay, so that is your grading. Again, there will be one or two discussions each week. It depends on the material we're covering and the chapters, etc. Um, same with the assignments, but um, I've tried to, uh, you know, make this course two credits worth of work. So you are only receiving two credits for this class, and I've tried to keep the workload to that. Uh, that said, you should expect to spend, I would say, two to six hours a week on this class. Um, two hours would be um, probably not enough, um, but four to seven hours should definitely get you uh, complete with your course each week. Make sure you schedule some time to complete your course. I have all of my due dates on Sunday each week. You'll notice I'm running my course weeks Monday through Sunday and I have all of the assignment and final discussion posts due on Sunday and then I have a midweek discussion post due on Thursday. 
and that format's going to be every week. So you'll have discussion post, main reply due on Thursday, a reply to a classmate due on Sunday for all discussions, and then all assignments will be due on Sunday. Because of that, I suggest that you schedule time in your week to be completing these things before Sunday in case you have questions, um, and also be completing your post by uh, Thursday. So you can see below here I have a course schedule on the syllabus, and we're going to cover one or two chapters each week, and I have the materials for each week in Brightspace. So this is a general layout of what will happen in the course, and I've got the information um, for disability services if you need down here as well. Let's move over to week one of the course. And here you will see every week I set up my course um, very similar so that it's very easy for you to navigate. So this week I have week one and I will have a checklist each week. This checklist tells you every item that you need to complete during the week. This week's looks a little long because there's a lot of little things to do. Most weeks will have less on there than that. So don't be scared by this long list. Um, this is just getting us started in the course. For instance, the first item is to read through the syllabus and reply to my welcome email letting me know you read the syllabus. Second item is to introduce yourself in the introductions discussion below. Please, please, please make your first post by the Thursday, April 9th initial post deadline as I do have to report uh, attendance in the course and I'm going to base attendance in the first week of our course on that discussion. Um, so please make sure you have a post in that introductions discussion by that time. It is a graded discussion and there is an initial post due on Thursday and a reply to a classmate due by Sunday. And I have my due dates at 11.30 p.m. Um, for everything. Okay, so also I want to note, even if you're waiting on a textbook, these week one assignments can be completed without the textbook for the most part. Um, the discussion and, and whatnot and the assignment can be done without that. So please participate and do the graded work this week, whether or not you have a textbook. Um, the sooner you can get one or get access to one, the better. So let me know if you need help with that. Um, so you'll see the next item on the list is to read chapter one in your text. Um, this is an overview of items we're going to cover, so please do not get hung up in the details and feeling like you need to know about every single one of these topics in detail. It's more to give you a, an overview of all different topics, but it can um, seem like they're covering a lot of information because they're just kind of showing you that there's all these different things to learn about. But don't feel like you need to know the details of all of these items covered in there. Okay. So then also you'll want to participate in the week one graded discussion. The, dis the introductions discussion is also graded, but there's a week one um, graded discussion as well. So two discussions this week, same deadlines, Thursday for your main post, Sunday for your reply. Um, and then um, your assignment this week is going to be to create a vision board that's due on the Sunday. And I've provided a Dropbox for that. And in order to complete that, you'll want to watch my video about a financial vision. And that will give you direction on completing that assignment. I've also got more instructions below. And then finally, you're going to work on completing a daily spending diary where you're writing down your spending each day. You're not turning this in because it's personal information, but it will be used um, for some of our discussions to talk about some of your spending habits. So do be writing down your personal spending each day, which in this um, time might be kind of interesting to see what your daily spending looks like versus maybe even what it looked like a couple months ago. You'll notice my checklist goes through each item you have to complete. And then below that checklist, I have each of the items. So I have the syllabus. Then I have the introductions discussion. Any of the items that are graded, I have a little box here by them that you can manually check mark when you've completed it so that you know that you've completed the graded item. 
So graded items will have that checkbox next to them, and that's just a tool for you to use if you want to checkbox them when you're done. Again, the introductions, though, you've got to post on April 9th. That's why I have that due date there. Um, and then a, a reply due by the 12th. Same with the week one discussion. Um, same deadline there, and the discussion question is there. To enter the discussion, you click the introductions button or you know the, the link to that discussion. It will bring you there. I've got my introduction here. Um, I included a photo if anybody wants to, to do that. But you will have a button down here that says um, make a, a new thread when you go to enter that discussion. So that is how you um, do that. Just click on the link and click make a new thread and type in your post. Okay, so you will do that for the introductions discussion and the week one discussion. And again, you will check box when you're done if you would like. Um, those are graded assignment or graded work. Financial vision, that's a video for you to watch and it will be helpful for you to complete the vision board assignment, which is here down below. Again, a checkbox because that is due April 12th, along with all of your other um, work. So that's due Sunday. And for this assignment, you're creating a vision board. Again, you'll want to watch the video for more on that. You can either scan your file to me, take a photo with your phone, or um, you can make this in a Word document, but you do need to upload, uh, somehow upload a copy of your vision board to me. I have provided a vision board example here. Um, that's my personal vision board. After I watch the video, you'll see, once you've watched the video, what I've posted here will make more sense. It, it didn't have to be super fancy. I did some clip art and pasted it on a paper, but you could easily do that in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or something as well to make it a little bit um, fancier and more visually appealing. And so then finally, I have the daily spending diary. I have put a checkbox here, even though it's not graded per se this week, but I do want you to complete it and it will lead to other questions that, you know, might be graded. So I did put a checkbox here and I do want you to complete it. This is a PDF copy of, of you know, a sheet you can keep track of your spending on. Um, if you can remember back to April 1 so you can have a full month, that's ideal. If not, you'll just have to track from now on out. Um, and that's it for this week. In week two, you will find um, either one or two discussions and um, an assignment regarding um, the chapter work. So um, just a couple thing, couple three things to do each week. Again, I'm trying to keep it to the two credit. Um, you should expect to spend at least, um, they say, two hours outside of class for every hour in class. Uh, or every credit hour that you would have spent in class. So up to six hours a week for this class. Again, many times you might get it done in less. It shouldn't take you much more than that, though, in any given week. So um, anyway, I am super excited about this term. We all get to learn a ton from each other and interact in the discussions this term. And um, I, I'm excited to a great class. And please let me know if you have any questions throughout the term, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Bye-bye.